hi all in today's video uh, i will show you how you can uh, download satellite data from nasa power uh, data portal and use this data uh, which is actually data on wind speed and wind direction uh, to plot windrose diagram so for that first you need to load two libraries which are open air and nasa power and if you are not having these libraries you can go to packages that go to install and you can just enter the names of these packages open air and nasa power and if you click install these packages will be installed and you are ready to go you just have to load these two libraries and the next step is downloading the data directly into your host studio so for this you have to run this code so i will explain this and before that I, I told you before that we are going to get this data from nasa power so i'll just show you the nasa power data portal so if you just google nasa power you will find this link and if you click it you will be taken into this website the power project and you scroll down and there you will find a data access viewer the classic version you have to choose uh, it's loading and after this uh, you just click access data and you will be presented with an interactive map here so first you need to do is you have to go to your point of interest so i need to plot windrows data for this location which is kochi in india so first i need to uh, you know zoom into that particular place and the first thing to do is after that is you have to specify which community you belong to so in my case i'm just specifying agroclimatology and for example if you are someone who is working in renewable energy field you can just specify renewable energy but i just need the you know wind speed and wind direction data for that i am specifying agroclimatology and the st second step is to get the temporal average which means you want to you want hourly data or daily data or monthly data even annual wind speed wind direction data are available so i'm just going to choose uh, daily and the next step is choosing your point of interest from the from this interactive map here you have to click point and uh, so i want to find the wind direction on this particular island called you know willington island so if i double click if i click there the point will be added and the coordinates in decimal format has appeared here and the next step is specifying the time extent so i'm leaving it just like that uh, like this is like january 1st to uh, march 31st of 2021 and next you have to specify your output file format so if you choose csv uh, you can download your wind direction and wind speed data in csv format and later up import it into our studio and do the remaining work like you can plot wind diagram using the csv file that's the long way of doing it and the finally you have to select your parameter so if you go to this option wind and pressure you just click there and expand so i'm going to need only these uh, wind speed at 10 meters and wind direction at 10 meters so i'm going to uncheck all the remaining uh, variables so okay this these two wind speed at 10 meters and wind direction is 10 meters and if i click submit uh, i can see the output files here which is in a csv format and if i download it you can see the data is appeared here so the year the day which is first second third fourth it goes like that and this is the wind direction data and this is the wind speed uh, at 10 meter data so what we have done can be done using the nasa package sorry the r package nasa power so here we are going to specify whatever we did in the website we'll be doing using codes so first you have to uh, uh, call this function called get power and you have to specify your community ag stands for agroclimatology like we saw before here we have already seen that in data access viewer similarly renewable renewable energy communities there like so 
This AG stands for this agroclimatology. And then lawn light, this is going to be your coordinates, which we can find from this map itself by clicking. And these are going to be the variables you'll be using for plotting wind rose diagram and or these are the only variables we need actually because we earlier we saw there were so many variables in that list and we selected only these two so this is what i'm doing it here right now then you have to enter the starting date and the ending date so the wind direction and wind speed data uh, within this period will be you know extracted from the data portal and the temporal api as i said earlier there is an option to mention the temporal average so same thing i'm doing it here i'm typing daily and if you run this code so or is downloading the data from nasa server and it's taking time let's wait so now the data has been downloaded and i'm calling it nem data which represents northeast monsoon data because the data specified here in this vector actually represents the northeast monsoon period so the data i'm getting will be representing the wind direction and wind speed of northeast monsoon uh, on a particular location in kochi so if i open it you can see uh, the longitude and latitude then year month day and uh, you can see this is what we need the wind speed at 10 meter and the wind direction at 10 meter so in the next step we need to you know select these two columns which is the eighth and the ninth column if you count one two three four five eight and the ninth column we need for plotting our wind rows and we are selecting it and it's stored in this new variable called wind rows one you can see wind speed 10 meter and wind direction 10 meter and the next step is uh, we need to change the column names these two names into ws which is wind speed and wd then only you can work using open air package to you know draw the wind row so if your column names are not changed then you won't be able to plot the final wind rows using the open air package so it's been done and now we can finally run this chunk of code to plot your wind rows so it's there now but before that you need to specify a few things because in this uh, chunk of code the some of the important one of the important uh, uh, thing is you have to specify the breaks so these breaks represents the you know in this plot you can see one to five meter per second five to ten meter per second so the you know so these uh, range you have to specify using this breaks option here so one to five five to ten ten to fifty like that and secondly you can add colors to the uh, to the segments of this wind rows so you can see uh, majority of the winds are coming from uh, northeast direction because the data represents that of northeast monsoon winds and there are wind events occurring from other direction as well but you can see the highest frequency has been recorded from this particular direction so this is how we plot a uh, wind rows uh, using r with the help of two packages which are open air and nasa power i hope you enjoyed the video so i'll be coming back coming back with more videos in the upcoming days so thank you for watching